Hello, everyone. This is uh, just a, a video uh, giving you an idea of what the final exam will look like. It is not a comprehensive review video. I think that, that the review is looking over what you've done and thinking about things, um, watching the videos, looking over the readings. May I actually suggest rereading the readings in preparation for a final exam? So this is not going over in any detail uh, what I think you need to study for the final exam, but just to give you an idea of what the exam will look like so you can go about studying for the exam in hopefully a more profitable way. The final exam will consist of four questions, four essay questions, and it's more or less an applied knowledge exam. That is, you will be given four scenarios and you will need to do an ethical analysis of each four, each of the four in the directed way. It is not uh, the kind of analysis that we do when we are first looking at an issue or um, we've done analyses in this class where it's just like, you know, what do you think of this? Write an analysis of it. Th this is not like that. This is applied uh, knowledge from your reading of the philosophers that we've done in this course. So what you need to be able to do is do an analysis of an ethical scenario employing the ideas of the text that we've read. I think that for the first two weeks, um, or the first three weeks actually, Kant and utilitarianism, that it's pretty straightforward. You need to be able to do a Kantian analysis something. And at this point, you should know uh, what a Kantian analysis of something is. I'm not going to go over it, uh, going over it again and again in the videos. So you should feel comfortable doing a Kantian analysis of an ethical scenario. You should also feel comfortable doing a utilitarian analysis of an ethical scenario. That is, I won't be asking you your opinion about the ethics of the scenario, I will be asking you to do an analysis from the point of view of Kant or from the point of view of utilitarianism and coming up with some sort of an answer uh, using the principles of those moral philosophies. I think that's pretty straightforward at this point. Maybe a little less straightforward would be employing the ideas from units four and five. Um, but because, you know, the, the Thompson and Marquis and then Singer and Arthur are not doing moral theory explicitly. They're looking at a particular issue, the issues of abortion and the issues of charitable giving. Um, but they are certainly employing principles and uh, it should be obvious what their principles are so that there are principles in Thompson's very prominent ones in Thompson's argument about abortion that can be applied to different issues, not just abortion, but, but other issues. There are certainly uh, principles in Don Marquis' Why Abortion is Immoral that he uses in his argument that can be applied to other situations or to similar situations. Same goes for Singer and uh, Arthur uh, if you can see, I mean, our, Singer's essay is about the obligation to give to charities that help people who are suffering and dying around the world. But there should be an obvious connection to what's going on in ethical analysis for with the Jane scenario where uh, she is seemingly called upon to help this lost boy. That is, it's a general there's a general issue here that's not just charitable giving, but essentially, you know, what our responsibilities are to other people in terms of uh, making an effort to prevent their suffering or to help them. So it should be clear, I think, in Singer and in Arthur, what their, you know, what their approach is. And both of them call upon principles, obviously. I don't need to tell you that Singer has a couple of principles and then a interpretation of those principles and that Arthur uh, challenges Singer's principles, what he calls the, obviously the, uh, 
greater moral evil rule and uh, has some criticism of them and employs principles of his own. So it may be a little less obvious what it would mean to do an analysis of something from the point of view of Thompson or Marquis or Singer or Arthur, but I think just a little less obvious. So that's what the exam will be. It will consist of four essay questions in which you'll have to write four ethical analyses employing, this is what's critical, employing the principles of the author that's mentioned in the question or the you know, school of thought with regard to Kantianism and utilitarianism that you mentioned in the question. It is not a free examination or a free analysis from your own point of view. It is really testing your ability to employ the kind of principles and ideas that we have been introduced to in what we read for the course. Um, my advice to you is to take as much time as you can in doing these and make these analyses as careful and as well-reasoned and as clear as you can. Do not just dash off a paragraph uh, on each one. That will not be a good answer. You have, you, know, you have enough time to do a fairly uh, thorough and reasoned analysis, and you should do that. I'm expecting that. Uh, the, if you look, uh, when you look at the instructions, you'll see that the suggested length for each answer is between 250 and 500 words. I, I think that that's about right. But they are essays. They are not just you know, dashing something off that's relevant to the question. They should be as, as much as you can do in a timed exam, polished essays. So that's, I think, a fair idea of what the final exam will be about, what it will be like. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me if you would like any clarification on any aspect of what I've said about the final exam.